I will do the, the root vegetables using carrots, what we can find a lot of in Europe. You can find yellow, red, purple these days, some nice potatoes. I will use the oca tuber that I get from one harvest at the moment. I will use the olio quito that we we'll get it from Peru. I like to keep a lot of raw vegetables. I obviously cook some, you know, like a potato, I have to cook it. I will make sort of a, a little pot and I will serve it with a yellow sauce that we call it uh, tiger's milk that is made basically with the tiger's milk plus some yellow chili, yellow chili puree inside. Decorated very simple with a couple of herbs around, a little bit more of chili on top and some of this. Pigeon is actually quite seasonal product. Uh, I got it from Wild Harvest, but very nice, you know, nice and fresh. Marinated, I have some fantastic seeds. We call it achote. I will marinate them. Some chocolate inside. Quickly a la plancha or in the pan. Just one side, finishing the other side. Then I have the algarrobina or algarrobo. Just dress it a little bit and serve this one on a crispy sort of bread that is made from cornbread. So I will use the corn almost like a dish. On top I will put the, the, the two breasts of the, of the pigeon, some chocolate crumbles and drizzle of the algarrobo. Couple of leaves around nicely, decorated. I will prepare a suckling pig with some Peruvian corn. So there are two or three elements in the dish. Are very easy to make. Obviously the, the hard work that probably we do behind is by confiting the suckling pig. We shred all the meat out. We take all the bones out, all this new out. And we make a sort of a, of a cake. We press it down, on top we put the, the skin. So all is shredded, all is pressed down and after it becomes almost like a cake. Crisp it up in the plancha and, and finish in, and finish in the oven two, three minutes and set. So simple. I will have the, the corn, it's the sweet corn, we use it. It's cooked uh, for, for actually quite a long time with some yellow chilies. They make into a puree with some, with some milk. Then we add some coriander and uh, cashew nuts inside. So it's almost green in color. Then we'll have some dots of the, of the puree on the plate, couple of pieces of the suckling pig around it, and some potato crisps on top of the, of the dish. Just dressed with a little bit of the cooking juices. <laughs> 